What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic Why is punch drunk boxing doing everything in his power to protect Teofimo Lopez from Devin Haney? Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. What's up, boxing fans? We're going to chop up some boxing today. All right, we're going to talk about this Devin Haney, uh, Teofimo Lopez situation. Okay, uh, it looks to me like uh, certain uh, pundits, you know, on YouTube, you know, uh, is basically forming a, a kind of a Teofimo Protection Society and they're basically trying to protect uh, Teofimo from Devin Haney and the guy that seems to be leading the pack in that regard is the one and only uh, Punch Drunk Boxing you know uh, shout out to Punch Drunk Boxing what's up Punch Drunk anyway uh, you know it looks like uh, Punch Drunk has turned into a Lopez fanboy, okay, and has basically formed the Teofimo Protection Society and is basically trying to protect Teofimo from uh, Devin Haney, okay. Uh, he's going around, you know, uh, talking about uh, Devin Haney should fight uh, Lomachenko, he should fight this guy, that guy, but every, every, every guy, he wants Devin Haney to fight everyone but Teofimo. Okay, which you know, I'm not understanding what that's all about. I mean, uh, then again, you know, I think I can understand it. You know, uh, I mean, it's like he's taking a page from the LDBC blueprint. Okay, uh, you know, just like how they have a, a what you call what would what you would call the uh, Errol Spence Protection Society or uh, the Errol Spence Protection Brigade. Okay, where they're trying to say, oh, uh, you know, uh, Crawford hasn't fought anybody. He needs to fight somebody first. Uh, he, he he needs this guy. He needs to fight, uh, you know, uh, Sean Porter. He needs to fight Kel Brook. He needs to fight everybody but Errol Spence, okay? So basically, we're seeing Punch Junk using the same script, okay, that's been written by the LDBC, and he's using it with uh, Teofimo, uh, basically to protect Teofimo from fighting Devin Haney. You know, this, this is what happens when you have a, a fighter when you have these guys you know who are uh become fanboys of fighters and you know the reason i'm saying that is because you know we saw i've you know teofimo and his father has been on punch junk uh pay a uh, youtube uh uh site a couple of times uh, you know on, on this show youtube show a couple of times and uh you know, so I guess, you know, he's he's kind of become a, a Lopez fanboy because Lopez comes on his page, okay? He comes on his YouTube channel, okay? And this is what happens when you have these, uh, you know, fighters come on some of these guys' uh, channel. They become star starstruck and they don't want to say anything to basically, you know, what, you know, what could be construed as, uh, as criticizing the fighters because they come on their page, they come on their channel, and that's good for their channel. So basically, it, this is what's going on with Punch Junk, I would think, you know, because uh, he, when when Teofimo came on his page, he had he hadn't really said much about, uh, you know, he didn't really ask Teofimo any good questions or anything like that. He just kind of yesed him to death, just like how we see with uh, Deontay Wilder and his, uh, you know, on 78 Sports TV when he goes on that channel or any one of the LDBC channels, they just yes him to death. Yes, yes, champ, yes, champ. And that's basically the same thing that uh, Punch Junk does when Teofimo come on his channel, okay? So we are seeing basically uh, uh, a repeat of the, you know, the LDBC blueprint from uh, Punch Junk Boxing. You know, again, I, never, I think another uh, aspect of this is that you know, Paul Junk is a, what you call a, you know, he called himself Hispanic. So, uh, you know, uh, Teofimo is Hispanic, you know, and so I guess, you know, it's it's like the LDBC and the black fighters. So you got, now you got the Hispanic, 
and the Hispanic fighter protecting their fighter. Okay, so basically it's the same program. Okay, even though we see uh, we see that you know we see Punch Junk come on his channel a lot of times and talk about the LDBC and you know uh, what the LDBC is doing, but basically he's doing the same thing as the LDBC. Okay, so he's taking a page from the LDBC book basically. Uh, following the LDBC blueprint and now he's formed the Teofimo Protection Society and he's doing everything in his power to protect Teofimo from Devin Haney by you know coming up with these you know narratives about you know uh, Teofimo you know needs to uh, you know uh, fight somebody he needs to you know he, he, he didn't want to hand him a, a, a Teofimo fight because he hasn't he, has, he, has, he hasn't earned it. The same talking point we hear from the LDBC when it comes to Errol Spence and Terence Crawford. This is the same thing that we're hearing from uh, Punch Junk when it comes to Devin Haney and Teofimo. Okay, so and you know I, I I'm gonna call it like I see it. I call out the LDBC on their nonsense, and I'm calling out Punch Junk on his nonsense. You know, and so it is what it is. So again, we're not even gonna waste a lot of time. Okay, we're gonna go to the videotape. Give me one second, let me cue it up, and we're gonna see what. You already know this is Pawn, Drunk, Boxing, AKA Mr. Really ready for the Lumachenko fight? Perfect way. If you really look at the opponents and the matchmaking for Devin Haney, it's the perfect way you build the fighter. I mean, well, the same they moving, Brandon Lee. Sounds like you're, 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 he has the happen up. You gotta talk. The commander in chief, a boss, the CEO, the boss is the president. The boss is the boss. Correct? That's the difference between Devin Haney and Tiafim Lopez. Tiafim Lopez will have to wait for the top ranks of the world or go to purse bid. Ryan Garcia will have to wait for Golden Boy promotion because he's under Golden Boy promotion. He, uh, Javante Tank Davis will have to wait for Flo, Flo Mayweather. And this is why when we're looking at, when we're, while we frustrated with the other entities, we, we, we frustrated with Tiffany Lopez, we're going to be frustrated with Bob Aaron. we frustrated with, with Randy Garcia. Oh, wait, wait, I'm saying Randy Garcia. Um, um, Ryan Garcia, we're going to be, we, we're going to be frustrated with Golden Boy promotions and Oscar the Hoya. What are you doing? Or, or Javante Tank Davis. We blame Lella Ella B. We blame Flo Mayweather. We're looking at Devin Haney. We're looking at Devin Haney. Regardless if he's 22 years old, he is his own boss, and he also brags about it being his own boss. I don't want to hear that you can't make the fight with Vassello Machinko. We want you to deliver because you are a boss. I don't want to look at to Eddie Hearn always and say, why you're not making the fight, Eddie? No. It's different. There got to be responsibility and accountability. But... It is a great step of fight with Jorge Linares. If I do not look at him the way they're promoting him for me to look at him. But my mind says, I know what I see. I know what I could identify. And the truth is that Devin Haney is 22 years old. The truth is that Devin Haney is still growing. The truth is that Devin Haney still haven't even matched his adult strength. Just like a lot of these young guys. That's why you don't hear me critiquing them. They're critiquing the skill set, they're critiquing their strength and things of that nature because they're still young. They're still young. They got a whole career ahead of them. So Jorge Linares is the fight that they know he's ready for. Because if they was thought that he was ready for Lomachenko, they would have gave Lomachenko to him. So. Is Devin Haney a prospect contender with a strap? That's the question. Because that's the way they're moving them. And I have no... He said that uh, Devin Haney is a contender with a strap because that's the way they're moving him. Because he doesn't you know he's gonna fight Linares next but the reality of the situation is that he's been calling for the, the uh if, it, if they're moving him like a prospect why are they calling for the Teofimo fight the supposedly best guy in the division but for some reason uh Punch Junk doesn't want him to fight 
uh, Teofimo. And the question we have to ask is, why is that? Why doesn't he want Devin Haney to fight Teofimo? If you think that they're moving Teof they're, they're moving Devin Haney like a prospect by having him fight Linares as a, a, a step-up fight, okay, then you should be calling for the Teofimo fight with Devin Haney. Why are you calling for Lomachenko or someone else? What if, if you think they're, they're, they're moving Devin Haney like a prospect, okay, and, you know, uh, you think they're moving him along slowly, then why, when Haney calls for the Teofimo fight, you're saying, oh, he got to fight somebody else. Okay, why, why is that? That doesn't make any sense. You can't have it both ways, okay? So he were, he's moving like a prospect, you know, you know, if, if he's fighting somebody like uh, uh, Teofimo, that's not, if he's calling for Teofimo, how is that moving like a prospect? By calling for the Teofimo fight. He's calling for the Teofimo fight, but you, uh, Punch Junk, is saying, no, he, he he's not ready for Teofimo. He needs to fight uh, uh, Lomachenko. Uh, Teo, uh, Teofimo just beat Lomachenko. So if he's calling for Lo, if he's calling for Teofimo, he's calling for the top guy. So why are you trying to give him second best or third best instead of giving him the best guy in, in the division that he's calling for and then you want to criticize him you know on the on the low by saying he, they're moving him like a prospect with a strap nah bro we're not buying that okay we're not buying it the question is why is it that you don't want him to fight teofimo that's the question and uh you know what i see is that you are forming the Teofimo Protection Society, Hispanic Teofimo Protection Society, and you want to protect your champion, Teofimo, okay? And that's what it comes down to. You're a fanboy of Teofimo, and you want to, you're trying to protect him from Devin Haney because the fact of the matter is this. Devin Haney has been calling for the fight with Teofimo from before Teofimo even became a champion, okay? So this is what we have to understand. He's been, Devin Haney has been calling for this fight with Teofimo from they were both you know, just contenders before the, both of them were champions, when they were just up and coming. He said, I'm ready to fight Teofimo right now. It, it's Teofimo that's been avoiding that fight since then, and he's avoiding the fight now, okay? And this is what it is, okay? So stop with this LDBC uh, blueprint that you're, you're, you're picking up, okay? And stop talking about, uh, you know, uh, Teofimo should fight, uh, you know, Lomachenko or whoever you want him to fight. Why don't you just call for the Teofimo Devin Haney fight? You see, this is why, you know, this is why I don't understand with these guys. It's like, it's the same thing with Errol Spence and, and Terrence Crawford. They said Terrence Crawford didn't fought nobody. That, which is what uh, this guy is saying, uh, Punch Junk, you know, oh, Ter Teofimo needs to deserve the fight. He hasn't fought anybody. He needs to build his own legacy. I mean, what are you talking about? The guy's a champion. He has a championship strap. Okay. What legacy is he supposed to be building unless he's fighting the best? The, he's, the best is supposed to be fighting the best. We want the best to fight the best. So he's calling out the supposedly best guy, which is still Fimo. Supposedly, he's the best guy. But the best guy don't want to fight him, okay? And Tio Fimo himself is going around talking about all oh, these guys, you know, uh, are not ready. They need to build their, you know, their legacy. And which is the same talking point that we see uh, uh, Punch Junk is running with, you know, following behind Tio Fimo. Uh, because Tio Fimo don't want to fight these guys. So, <laughs> you know, uh, he's trying to put up, uh, you know, uh, roadblocks in front of these fights with these, with these guys with a tough uh, competition, especially a guy like Devin Haney. And so we see Punch Junk is running with the same narrative, okay? Oh, yeah, these guys are not ready yet to fight Teofimo. They got to do this. They got to do that. No, 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 no. That's the same talking point the LDBC used with Spence and Crawford. And if you feel that these guys are not ready, okay? If, if, if Teofimo feels that these guys are not ready, like say Devin Haney's not ready yet. Well, go out there and take the strap from him there and become undisputed. You you know, Tia Freeman's running around claiming that he's undisputed, and Devin Haney's out there with a strap, okay, the WBC strap, okay, world champion, okay. But you're claiming but Tia Freeman's claiming he's undisputed and he doesn't want to go and take that strap from from uh Devin Haney. Now if I was a champion, okay, and I, and I'm and I'm claiming that I'm undisputed, my first order of business, okay, before anybody else. My first order of business will be to take that strap away from Devin Haney and actually become undisputed, okay? That's the first order of business for Teofimo Lopez, okay? But he's going around making t-shirts talking about he's undisputed, okay? And uh, every chance he gets, he says he's undisputed, but he's not actually becoming undisputed in reality, 
just in you know just from his own mouth just talking undisputed no it doesn't work like that okay the, the bottom line is that he's not undisputed until he fights De uh devin haney and take that strap he's just a unified champion and that's all he is okay so that's what that's the reality of the situation so you know punch junk boxing you know uh shout out to punch junk boxing again i've been on his channel a couple of times cool brother but you know you gotta stop this nonsense about you know uh Devin Haney needs to fight this guy or that guy before he fights Tio Fimo. He doesn't need to do nothing, none of that. He's a champion. Okay? And so, as a champion, uh, he has a right to call out Tio Fimo. And uh, Tio Fimo, you know, either should accept the, the call out or say he's not ready to fight Devin Haney at this point in time. And I, I don't think he's ready myself because you see him ducking. And that's basically what he's doing. He's ducking Devin Haney. Okay? There's, not, there, there's no other way to put it okay and he's been ducking Devin Haney from before he became champion so it doesn't really surprise me that he's ducking Devin Haney now you know we saw that when he became when he became the unified champ uh Tio Fimo you know he started talking a lot of nonsense you know he was out there you know he was you know I guess he was you know full of himself with his victory and you know oh yeah I'm gonna fight this guy I'm gonna go over there I'm gonna I'm gonna beat I'm gonna fight Devin Haney and I'm gonna take that strap from him and you know I'm gonna take away his email belt and this and that and i and i'll destroy his career <laughs> but it's, it was you see it, it's one thing to say that when you just won the title and you're feeling good and you're feeling hyped up but when it, it when you sit down and think about it in the cold facts you know in the cold light of reality you realize you know it's easy to say that you're going to take the title from devin handy but it's not that easy to do in reality okay when you start thinking about what could happen then you see that he's been, you know, he's been backtracking ever since. Ever since he said that in his, you know, his post-fight interview, ever since then he's been backtracking and backtracking and, and, and to the point where now he's, you know, he's up there, he's actually ducking Devin Haney now, okay? Uh, making up all kinds of excuses, the fight's not going to happen for another five years, this, that, and the other. And, you know, in a way, I understand what's going on because at the end of the day, you know, you 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 got the you got to a position now where you unified champ, you're the unified champ, and you don't want to put that in jeopardy, okay? And you know, fighting a guy like Devin Haney, you know, regardless of what Punch Junk is talking about, okay, uh, or Tio Fimo is talking about, is it's a risk, it's a big risk to fight a guy like Devin Haney, and Tio Fimo knows that they've part together before, so he knows what uh, Devin Haney brings to the table. He doesn't want to have to go in there and you know and risk his is, is a hard won uh uh unified uh championship status to devin haney you know up and coming guy like devin haney who's on the rise okay so basically he's just he's gonna do everything in his power to, de to delay that fight and to keep that fight you know in the background somewhere where he doesn't have to happen anytime soon because he knows that devin haney at this point you know in the lightweight division is the biggest threat to his reign as the unified champ he knows that even though Devin Haney had the last strap, you don't hear him calling out Devin Haney to become unified, okay? And instead, what they do is they try to uh, belittle Devin Haney's belt and try to say, oh, he doesn't work, it's not worth anything, it's an email belt, this, that, and the other, okay? This is the strategy, okay? This is what Punch Junk does, this is what Devin, this is what Tia Fimo does. Oh, that belt is an email belt and it doesn't really mean nothing. And we see Punch Junk running around talking about, oh, well, you know, why, you know, does Suleiman say that uh, uh, Tia Fimo is the, is, the, is the champion and that, the, the, that you know, uh, the, the belt that Devin Haney has doesn't really mean much. You see, that's all talking point. That's all narratives, okay? At the end of the day, okay? But if you really want to, prove that you're the champion and you're the undisputed champion you're gonna to have to fight Devin Haney talking about his belt is not worth nothing is not gonna do it okay that's just talk at the end of the day and talking you know is cheap okay so we see Tio Fimo instead of fighting Devin Haney you know uh which should have been his first order of business to become undisputed because why wouldn't you want to become undisputed and just claim that you're undisputed you don't see uh the, it, it, no, I mean there's a you know there's nobody disputing the fact that Terence Crawford was undisputed at 140 pounds. Everybody knows he was undisputed. There's no dispute about that. Okay. If you Google Teofimo Lopez right now on Google, and then Google is neutral, Google has nothing to do with anything. Google, if you Google Teofimo Lopez, you'll see that they describe him as the unified champion, not as the undisputed champ. Okay. Because anybody that has any kind of boxing knowledge or IQ knows that 
he's only unified and not undisputed. But he's going around calling himself undisputed. Okay, uh, you don't see Terence Crawford running around talking about I'm I'm undisputed every chance he gets because he doesn't have to do that because everyone knows that he was undisputed, but everyone does not know or agree that uh, Teofimo is undisputed because there's you know there's questions because Devin Haney is out there and he has a strap and he's, it's a world title. So how can you be undisputed if you didn't actually beat him in the ring? You can't get a franchise belt and become undisputed by decree, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to become undisputed by decree instead of by actually going in the ring and fighting someone. So, you know, I'm not buying into this all, all of this nonsense, you know, about Teofimo being undisputed. Uh, you know, the fact of the matter is he has to fight Devin Haney, and that's what it is going to take for him to become undisputed. And, you know, it looks like uh, people like Punch Junk and, you know, the rest of the fanboys out there, you know, has formed the uh, Female Protection Society. And, you know, uh, I'm going to say that Punch Junk is, the head of, is at the head of that society. He's leading the pack, okay, in, in, that, in that regard. And he's doing his best and every chance he gets to go on his channel and try to delegitimize, delegitimize uh, Devin Haney and and claim you know that Devin Haney needs to fight this guy and now the guy he wants Devin Haney to fight is uh uh Lomachenko you know by talking about whole you know try I mean and he's slick about it he do he does it very slick you know he's a very slick guy when it comes to that so he makes it seem like he's trying to do Devin Haney a favor by saying oh well let's address let's redress this situation where uh you know Devin Haney you know, didn't get a chance to fight Lomachenko. So now, you know, let's put Lomachenko it out there. But no, 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 no. Lomachenko's not a champion anymore. We don't care about Lomachenko. Okay? He's not a champion. Okay? Devin Haney was the champion. Okay? Uh, Lomachenko had his chance to fight Devin Haney. And he, he took the franchise belt and moved, you know, and moved away from that fight. Just like how... Uh, Teofimo did the same thing now, took the, the fr act for a franchise status and, and is trying to avoid Devin Haney the same way Lomachenko did, okay? So let's not get into that. Let's not get into this franchise situation, the same thing that happened with Lomachenko, okay, uh, where he avoided the fight with Devin Haney because he had a franchise belt. Let's get this fight going with between Teofimo and Devin Haney like it's supposed to be, okay? So basically... Teofimo is taking the same trap that Lomachenko did by trying to avoid Devin Haney with his franchise status, okay? And then you hear Punch Junk talking about, oh, it was a disservice done to Devin Haney when Lomachenko used the franchise status to avoid the fight. But he's not saying nothing about Teofimo using the same, same trick, the same franchise status to avoid the fight with Teofimo. Instead, he's calling for a fight between Teo, uh, Devin Haney and Lomachenko. For what? Uh, what, what, you know, uh, what did he fight? What, what, what is, what is, what is Lomachenko and Devin Haney fighting for? What is, what is, what's in that for, uh, for Devin Haney in that fight? Nothing. Lomachenko doesn't have any belt. Okay. Teofimo has the belts and I want the belts. If I'm, if I'm Devin Haney, I want the belts. So I'm going after Teofimo. Why would I go after uh, Lomachenko for what? Lomachenko had a chance to fight me. If I'm, Teo, if I'm Devin Haney, Lomachenko had a chance to fight me and he didn't fight me. So now that I have a belt, Okay, and, and Lomachenko doesn't have a belt. Why would I want to fight him now? When he didn't want to fight me when he had the, the belt. Okay? So, th that's what it is. We got to keep this thing real. Okay? So, at the end of the day, you know, uh, we can't listen to these narratives that these guys are spinning with their channels because they're trying to, you know, uh, uh, you know, curry favor with the champion like we see Punch Junk is doing. You know, because Lopez comes on his channels, you know, he, he, he he's currying favor with Lopez now. And he's, he's out there talking about, oh, we, we want to see the fight between Devin Haney and Lomachenko. No, people want to see the fight between... Nobody's calling for the fight between Lomachenko and, and, and Devin Haney except for, for Punch Junk. He's the one that's trying to put interest in that and pushing it out there as a narrative and then trying to get people to get into that. Just like how they did with uh, 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 Crawford and Kel Book, and they're trying to do the same thing with Crawford and uh, Sean Porter, but don't want to see the fight between Crawford and Errol Spence. The fight that everybody wants, okay? They're, they're trying to keep that fight 
out of you know they don't want that fight to happen i'm talking about ldbc now and their fanboys out there just like how punk don't don't want people to see the tio fema and devin Henry fight which is the fight everybody wants mike tyson wants to see this fight the whole boxing community community wants this fight but they're trying to push a lomachenko fight now we don't want to hear about no lomachenko lomachenko had his had his chance and he blew it against haney he didn't take that fight because the same reason why tio fema don't want the fight because devin haney is dangerous okay and this is why Tio Fimo is doing everything in his power to avoid that fight. This is why Punk Junk is out there talking about, uh, you know, Devin Haney's not ready at this, that. He's, he's, they're moving him like a prospect, all this foolishness he's talking, you know. Uh, when 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 Haney and his, and, his, and his dad is out there calling for Tio Fimo with every chance they get, and they've been doing that for years now, okay. Again, I'm going to repeat that. Haney has been calling out Tio Fimo for years. Before Teofimo became champion, he's trying to get Teofimo to fight, and Teofimo has been ducking him ever since. Okay, and now he's ducking him as champion. So it is what it is, people. You know, so we can't fall for these narrative. We're not going to fall for this nonsense that Ponchonk is out there pushing, okay, about uh, Lomachenko trying to gin up uh, interest in a Lomachenko Haney fight. I'm not saying that's not a good fight, but that's not the fight that uh, the people want to see. That They're going to see that fight after the Teofimo fight. Okay. Uh, you know, if, if 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 anything, I mean, at the end of the day, why don't what you know? Why doesn't uh, Tio Fimo give uh, Lomachenko a rematch? If, if that's the case, give him a rematch, okay? But he doesn't want to do that, <laughs> okay, for whatever reason. But you know, again, you know, fighting a guy like Cambosos, you know, you know, uh, instead of fighting Haney, you know, it's not what people want to see. I mean, at the end of the day, uh. Theo Fimo could have got four million dollars to fight Devin Haney. We all saw that. We saw that on Punch Junk's channel. Okay, when his dad, Theo Fimo's dad, came on there, Devin Haney's dad came on there. They offered him a four million dollars fight. Okay, he didn't take it. Uh, he, instead, he went to fight uh, Kambosos. So all this talk about you know uh, that Punch Junk is pushing about oh uh, Theo Fimo is uh, is not a boss. He has listed a Bob Arum and, and Devin Haney is a boss. So we want to see Lomachenko fight. You know, it's, it's nonsense. Okay, trying to put the, the, the you know say oh well Tio Fimo since Devin Haney is the boss and he's a boss he sh we want to see that fight because he can make that fight happen. Well, uh, that's not the issue that he can make that fight happen because at the end of the day, uh, he wants Tio Fimo. He doesn't want uh, Lomachenko. He wants the guy that's better than Tio Fimo. I mean, I'm mean, excuse me. He wants the guy that's better than Lomachenko. He wants him supposedly the top guy who's, who's supposed to be. You know who's allegedly uh Tio Fimo the top guy. So if you ask him for the top guy, I don't see why people are gonna criticize him for asking for the top guy instead of asking for the guy that the top guy beat. Okay, why you want the guy that the top guy beat? You want the number one guy, the best. So I don't see nothing wrong with that. You know, uh, if you, if, as, a, as a fighter, if you want to try to fight the best, so why are you trying to give him second or third best? I don't understand that. Okay, and at the end of the day, as far as talking about, you know, because you know. Basically, what Punch Junk is doing is trying to make excuse for Tia Fimo by saying that he got to listen to Bob Arum. No, he doesn't have to listen to Bob Arum because we saw that what's going on right now. Bob Arum doesn't want the Camboso fight, okay? Bob Arum wants the Devin Haney fight, okay? But who's fight, who's Tia Fimo fighting? Camboso. So if he had to listen to Bob Arum, how come he didn't? How come if, if he has to go by what Bob Arum says, how come he's not fighting Devin Haney instead of uh, Camboso? So all this talk about. You know, uh, Haney is a boss and Tio Fimo is not a boss. It's nonsense, okay? Because in reality, Tio Fimo is fighting who he wants to fight, not who Bob Arum wants him to fight. Because Bob Arum doesn't even like this fight. Him and Tio Fimo is arguing and in, and they're in dispute now about, you know, because Tio Fimo took this fight with Ken Bosas as opposed to the fight that, you know, Bob Arum wants to make, okay? So this is out there in the, in, in the media for everybody to see. So again, you know, we gotta dispense with this narrative about these fighters, you know, not being their own boss. A lot, you know, just like with the same thing with Spence, you know. I mean, these fighters basically fight who they want to fight at the end of the day, okay. And the promoters, you know, basically, you know, just uh, you know, and even Bob Arum says that he can't, he, he doesn't go in the ring and fight. He can't fight for anybody. He can't force anybody to make a, take a fight. That's what Bob Arum says out of his own mouth. So this narrative, you know, that Paul Junk is pushing, you know, it, it, nobody, I'm not buying it. I'm sorry. And, you know, again, it just points to the fact that 
Paul Junk is deciding to form the Teofimo Protection Society and he's out there trying to protect Teofimo from tough fights like Devin Haney and that's basically what it is and I, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that uh, Lopez came on his channel and now, you know, since Lopez come on his channel and a regular, you know, uh, he becoming a Lopez fanboy and also because they're Hispanic, okay, uh, you know, Lopez is Hispanic, he's Hispanic, so it's the, you know, I guess it's the, the Teofimo His Hispanic Protection Society that he's forming, that's, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, it's the same type of nonsense that we see from the LDBC, okay, with, with, the, with Errol Spence trying to protect him from, you know, uh, 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 tough fights, okay, because they rule with the PBC or, you know, or whatever, okay, you know, uh, they, they basically protect them P, uh, PBC fighters against everybody else. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I don't, I'm not with none of that nonsense. I'm with the best fighting the best. Guys, I don't care if you're Hispanic, black, blue, purple, pink, or white. You fight the top guy who's out there. Uh, that's what it's supposed to be about. The best fight and the best. And everything else is just foolishness. I, you know, that's how I see it. You know, I'm not rolling with none of this LDBC or this Hispanic uh, panic, uh, Hispanic cars and panic nonsense that we see out there. Okay. These guys are going out there segregating boxing, you know, with Hispanic people, black people, white people. We don't, we don't want to do it. We had enough of that segregation nonsense. Okay. We, we want to see people... Uh, the best fight the best whether they black white blue purple or pink okay and that's what it is so punch junk you need to stop with this nonsense uh if you really think that uh teofimo is the best then he should be fighting devin haney not trying to run from devin haney okay and again uh if he had fought devin haney he'd be making four million dollars supposedly he's gonna make 3.2 million dollars with this thriller uh uh with thriller uh getting the purse bid so he's making $3.2 million in this fight. Uh, I guess the rest of the money is going going to uh, over $2 million is going to uh, Cambosos. Okay, so this talk about, you know, uh, TF making $6 million. He, he's not making $6 million fight. That's, what they, that's the budget for the whole fight. That means both fighters got to get paid out of that $6 million. And that mean, and, and from what I'm hearing, uh, Cambosos is getting two point something million dollars and Teofimo is getting $3.2 million, okay? So that's, it is what it is. He would have gotten $4 million to fight Devin Haney, okay? So you'd have got paid more if he fought Devin Haney. But again, it's a bigger risk to fight a Devin Haney than it is to fight a Cambotos. And so we see him taking the, 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 you know, the easier route. Now, again, like, I, you know, I'm going to say this again. I understand that these fighters, you know, when they get to the pinnacle of, 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 of the, 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 the top of the hill, you know, they don't want to take any chances and to risk what they have gained, you know, uh, uh, you know, and I understand that. OK, so they, you know, they want to try and protect it. OK, and that's what, you know, that's what Tiffin was doing. I mean, it's human nature. OK, you know, he got the, the unified thing now. So uh, he wants to milk it a little bit, you know, uh, get some easy fights along the way with, for the best money. And, you know, why risk your champion, your unified champion against a guy like Haney, who's a dangerous guy, okay? Uh, so why do that? You know, when you can get some easier fights, get some good money and, 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 and hold on to your, your thing a little bit longer. Well, I understand that. But if that's the case, stop calling yourself undisputed if you don't want to take on Devin Haney, okay? I, you're not undisputed until you fight Devin Haney. So until then, just be what you are, the unified champion, and stop running around talking about you undisputed because you're not. You're making a mockery of boxing, okay? And I'm going to tell it like it is. It is what it is. So if you want to just protect your your status as, as unified champion and just fight a couple of easier fights, you know, hey, you, that's your right to do that. You can do that if you want to. But don't go around talking about you undisputed because you're not, okay? And it is what it is. So that's all I got to say about that. So, yeah, you know, uh, I'm going to leave it there. You know, but I want you to make sure you subscribe to TBE Boxing because I'm going to tell it like it is, people. Okay, as you can see, I don't play around. I don't, you know, pull any punches. I don't go around the corners. I'm not going to be no fanboy for no fighter. I don't care who it is. You know, whether it's Errol Spence, Terence Crawford, Devin Haney, uh, or Teofimo Lopez. Okay, uh, I'm going to call it like it is. And uh, whether they come on my channel, or they don't come on my channel. We're going to, they're going to get the real deal. OK, and so, you know, I'm not going to form the protection society around no fighter, whether it's LDBC or the Hispanic cause and panic protection society. It doesn't matter to me. To me, they are all just, you know, doing a disservice to boxing 
you know, uh, and we, and that's why we're not getting the fights that we want to see because these guys are forming protection around their fighters and, and, and trying to stop them from fighting the best fights that could be made because they, you know, they want to protect these fighters. Uh, I'm not with that at all in no way, shape or form. So that's how I see it. And that's the way it is as far as I'm concerned. So people, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Okay. That's all I have for right now. This is TBE Boxing. I'm out.